Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Vulpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1. We're halfway through clearing out the glow here. Suspension thing, some sort of medical or experimental apparatus that's if someone can contain a human-sized body. Damn rockets, man. Clearly, they want me to use a rocket launcher. <sighs> Clearly, they want me to own an air fryer. With all these books they're tempting you to read. Like, eh, you want to read this, don't you? Wow, man. I'm out of weight capacity. These rockets must weigh a buttload, huh? All right. Take three of these and call me in the morning. I guess we don't actually need these, even though I thought I did. Also not sure if there's a use for a crowbar in Fallout 1, but I'll take it nonetheless. I think using the doctor's bag is better than using med kits, right? So might as well just give him those, these, these, these. grenades that much. Go ahead and take these. Maybe spend my wad on the final fight. <laughs> Never mind, Ian. Alright. Save game. Catch all. Like interact with the big throbbing machine. Interact with the big throbbing machine. No, I don't want to. Just for that, I'm going to explore every square corner of the building first before interacting with the big throbbing machine. All right, I'm done interacting with the rest of the map. I'm going to interact with the big throbbing machine. An extremely advanced computer. I may be of assistance. Who or what are you? A machine intelligence dedicated to research and installation control. I am called Zax. What kind of research. I am specifically programmed for research into biological studies, including pathology and genetic research. My primary function is an extrapolation of information of complexity levels exceeding human capacity. What are the particulars of your research? My research into the forced evolution virus, or FEV, indicates that it is a shifting absorptive virus. It copies DNA patterns, much like RNA storing these patterns in exons. These exons, combined with FEV, are re-injected into host cells in typically typical viral infectious fashion. This causes the host cells to regenerate their DNA. How do you catch FEV? It's not caught per se. It is not air transmittable. Typically, infection is through injection or direct physical contact with the FEV sample. Is not affected by radiation? FEV is a megavirus with a protein sheath reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. Talk about something else. Grant me access to the mainframe. Access granted. Base information. West Tech Research Facility founded in 2002. Ooh, it's so far in the future of when this game came out. <laughs> Blech. As a private contractor for the United States government, the company initially consisted of two divisions, Advanced Weapon Research and Biomedical Sciences, Sciences Division. In 2069, nice, West Tech was the single largest contractor in the United States government, its largest contract being Powered Infantry Powered Armor, T-51B. Oh yeah, the classic. In light of significant advances in 2076 by NBC on the Pan-Immunity Virion Project, the United States Defense Department, 
in fear of international espionage, moved the team into the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed the FEV Project. Germinate Program. I guess that's not what exactly what ter Terminate Program meant in this case. Security information. Lots of active research records. Cords most current at West Tech Research Facility. Personnel actors Robert Anderson, Mr. Anderson, Nick Davis, John Isaac, Steve Grimco, Ronald Solstein. Road records to the Pip Boy. Our armor status complete. The T 51B powered infantry armor is designed with the latest passive defense features for both civilian and military disturbances. The back mounted bleh, TX 28 microfusion pack generates 60,000 watts to power the high flow hydraulic systems built into the frame of the suit. Made of the latest polylaminate composite, the T-51B shell is light and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules of kinetic impact. The 10 micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite surface. So the pit boy. FEV. As China became increasingly aggressive with their use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that the countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Baryon Project, PVP, PVP, officially formed September 15th, 2073. 2075, it became clear that the best way to combat newly created biological weapons was to create, was to alter DNA so it was no longer susceptible to standard viral infection. 2076, unforeseen side effects began surfacing in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test subjects began showing abnormal growth rates accompanied by increased marine activity. The U.S. government took notice of these discoveries and in the interest of national security moved a team on site to secure and oversee the project, which is now dubbed the FUV Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. 2077, FUV needs completion. Tests on lab mammals are at near 100% success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately 60%. But the potential intelligence increase by 200%. Effects on human subjects remain unknown, though they are theoretically promising. The military... Wishing to continue further testing, builds a large facility at the Mariposa military installation in the Central California. And this new facility, the testing of the FEV virus, continues on volunteer subjects for the military. Download version. Power terminus. Our management. Do we initially use primary power here? We can access the option to deactivate the security bots. I think we have to go fix the generator first on a different floor. Never mind. We can play chess with it. Apparently that was like kind of bugged out. It doesn't work. And also, it takes time to do. This one? Oh, it needs more power. More power, Scotty. I need more power. Are you going to zap me this time, or is it not going to zap me? That's the question. Oh, yeah, it was armed. Does this thing have aft torpedoes? Oh, yeah. There are. Yeah. I see robots to kill. Or blam. Or blam. Uh -uh. I don't know why it won't let you end combat when combat is done sometimes. Kind of annoying. Critical 
hit. Double critical hit. I'm glad we wasted them on dead robots. Goddamn sniper rifle on this son of a gun. Holy. This one probably doesn't have anything. I just want to double check. How strong is a sniper rifle? Because in the guide, they're like hyped up as being incredibly good. Really high range. Slightly higher damage, but it's uh, low damage is actually not great. So we will not be using it on this day. And now you look like you might be wearing a 13. I guess that could be 15 too. Could be 15. Some trouble with the click and drag that time. Oh baby, plasma pistol. It might have enough ammo to start using the M and F and thing, you know. 96. I'd say that's enough. Does it make my sawed-off pistol look like a pea shooter? No, actually. A little bit more higher damage. It does have more capacity, which is nice. But since we are better at small arms, I would like to still use this for now. Once our energy weapons is caught up, we can switch. Uh, looks like the generator room. So we're gonna loot this one first. Pretty embarrassing that these power armor dudes died. I'm just killing everything in this building like it's nothing. Not fair, the robots were turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep whining. Straw man that I just made up in my head. All right. Save. Catch all. Your generator seems to be offline. You wonder if you can start them back up. It's just another one of the same computers. Yes. Rough. So I believe... I'd like to use a tool on this. Start up the generators. All systems seem to be coming back online. Power management, power, primary power, reinitialize primary power. Sorry, I had to make my own music. Not music, sound effect. I lost my cursor there for a second. Well, 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 look who has turned off robots. Killed robots that can't do anything. Keep doing it wrong, man. Eh. Old game design. Now, the benefits of switching to the plasma pistol is we could give uh, Ian the sawed off rifle. At least we want to go back up. Not to four, though, right? We want to go to five. Oh no, four was right. I want to talk to this thing. Okay, we have assistance. Access to the mainframe. Security information. Deactivate the security robots. I think there's one more floor, right? I 
remember unlocking this door, but the fact that it's shut kind of scares me. Yep, it was arms. She really wants to fix the generator. I want to go five. Yes, we have not gotten to five yet. Okay. See, these robots we actually would have had to fight if we hadn't, uh... We got extra experience, experience just for getting to this floor. Entry robot. Can we... Let's see. I guess we don't have to kill these things, but we get experience, right? I feel like it said like you could like deactivate them and like like destroy them, deactivate them. Might want to save before we shoot them all they're turned off, because maybe now they can turn themselves back on. Nice thing about the plasma pistol is it has a lot more ammo capacity. Also, I like that the robots were talking when they were disabled, by the way. I didn't say anything about it before. Bit silly. Yeah, it's worth killing them, unfortunately. I know it takes... These things, they take time, but... Are worth their weight in XP. Still empty, right? What does this computer do? A lot of good stuff here, apparently. One would hope. One would hope. I'm sorry, security robot. Get crit, son. for taking damage is really slow. All right. Sniper rifle. And it's dead. Too bad we don't, uh, because we took fast hands, we can't do vats. These things are just sitting ducks, so we could be destroying their, their exposed brains. For free crits, you know? That's okay. We're not here for accuracy, we're here for damage. No, DPS specifically. More specifically, the kink is my hole. Blam. Step out of the way so he doesn't shoot us. All right. I think there's no more robots to kill, luckily. There is a whole lot of doors, though. Not so many doors that I'm going to do this. Just to speed up the door opening process. Strange, it looks like it could be used in your pit boy. Another one. That's the EV. 
thingamajiggy. I don't see anything in there. And I get it. All the pods are to like, represent that super mutants broke out of here. Show me. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden twinkle in my oh, I gotta aim it. Can't pick it up. Ian, get over. You peace. In a moment I might not even need that ammo. In fact, I think I'll make the call. I already took this off. It's yours now, Ian. Use it well. For we are moving into the era of laser frickin' guns. Take these sniper rifles, take this extra plasma pistol, take this knife, take this ammo, that ammo, this ammo, that ammo, this ammo, that ammo. Honestly, even hold these grenades. I'm done with them. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're fine. It's like we don't really have ammo for the plasma rifle. Well, the plasma rifle comes with ammo. Never mind. Never mind, Ian. Oh. There we go. Come get some. Sorry, I had to do it. This is a uh, freaking 30 to 65 damage. It is the best gun in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hell yeah. We have entered the laser era. Well, not even the laser era. We skipped the laser era. Back laser rifles. God damn. There's your laser pistol. I don't know why you would ever use it. <laughs> it's in the same room as a bunch of plasma pistols. Guess we could compare and contrast real quick. A stealth boy. Laser does 10 to 22. Yeah, this is way less. I have to do less than the damn. Oh, ammo. Oh, it's all over for the game, man. The game just gave me the keys to the kingdom. Behold the mother load. <laughs> minigun, dude. Can't even pick up the ammo for the damn minigun. We need our power armor so that we can carry things again. I'm gonna call it. I'm not gonna use the doctor skill. I don't think we're gonna need this now. Well, you can just hold on to that. It's not likely that we're gonna have to use it enough to need it in my inventory. I need that. Need that. 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 You're of the. Of the combat shotgun is over, as sad as that is to say, because this combat shotgun is goaded. I need one of the plasma pistols. Alright. Try your best weapon next time we go into battle. Make use of that sawed off pistol, brother. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 
crazy how much loot there is in here, man. Holy. No, we didn't even have to fight anything. Something to be said, like how, like doing a run where you just go straight here <laughs> would be kind of funny. Boy, data from the disc. Then there's this one, Delta experience. Does it look like I care about Delta? I was about to get really excited that this was better armor, but it's not better armor. If only this game let you equip your companions. I'd give it to Ian. More pit boy data. Alpha experiment. turn you into a loot carrying cow here again there's just too much loot here I think we got everything. Blue key card. Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> I hate key cards. This one's open, I don't have to scan the damn key card. Get me out of this hell hole. Literally. What the hell happened here? You tell me. You've been here longer, loser. I us call these dead people your losers. It's weird. Okay. Plasma pistol. We are out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, hope you have a good day.